All right, welcome to building a to-do list app with Django and Python. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll be your instructor today. In this course, we're going to walk through Django, the web framework for Python, and I'm gonna show you how to build websites with it, specifically database-driven websites. So hopefully this sort of simple to-do app will allow us to learn how to do database stuff, but won't overwhelm us. So we'll learn all the fundamentals that you need in order to understand how databases work with Django, how to interact with them, how to add things, edit things, and all that good stuff, but it's not gonna be so complicated complicated that it just you know blows your mind or anything so it's a nice way to sort of ease into more sophisticated website building with Django so a couple of quick things before we get started I'm on a Windows machine Windows 7 actually but if you're on a different version of Windows Windows 10 or even if you're on Linux or Mac you should definitely be able to follow along with this course Python works on all types of computers if you're on Linux or Mac there's gonna be a couple of little differences here and there I'll try and point those out but you really should be able to follow along without any problems once you get it installed and you'll install it on Mac or Linux, like you install anything else on Mac or Linux, you should be able to follow along very easily. We're going to be using the most current up-to-date versions of both Python and Django. Right now that's version 2.0.5 for Django and I think 3.65 for Python. We'll take a look at that in the next video. But if those versions are different by the time you watch this video, no big deal as long as there hasn't been a major version change. So we're on version 2.0.5. So maybe by the time you watch this video, it's on 2.0.7 or 2.3 point something. As long as it's not on version 3 point something, you know, the main numbers is when you get a dramatic change in the thing. So as long as, you know, the trailing numbers here are somewhere around there, you should be absolutely fine. Same thing with Python. Now, if you're on a Linux or a Mac, you probably already have Python installed on your computer, but it's a very, very old version and you're gonna need to update it or upgrade it or add the newer version and switch to that and I'm not gonna show you how to do that hopefully you'll know how to do that if not head over to YouTube and just and just search you'll find a video that shows it, it takes it takes like five minutes to do you, you should be able to figure that out okay so in the next video let's jump in and install Python and get started